Hello there, this is Dimitris Christou and I'm back with another Blender V tutorial. For this Blender V tutorial we're going to see how to build an interesting object pretty easily using metaballs in Blender. I have the default scene here open and all I do is hit S and 2 to scale the default cube it is selected 2 times on all the axes. What I'll also do is hit Shift A and add metaball and a ball. Ok. You can see the ball, it's inside the cube, so I'm hitting M to move it onto the second layer. Ok, let's take a look, you can see it right here. Alright, now selecting the cube again, and I'm going to move over to the particle options and hit new for a new particle system. The time, the type actually, will be set to hair and I'll also click advance for the advanced particle options and I'm going to use the volume of the object for the particle distribution and also check random. Alright, for the object I'm going to use the metal object. But you can see, I'll hit the Z key to move to wireframe mode, you can see absolutely anything and that's because the particle system is built around the original metable object which is now in layer 2. So if I move over to the particle uh, options here and bring the number down, let's set it down, say to 150, you can now see the particle system in place. What I'll do is bring the size up, let's set it at about here, and what I'll also do is select the metable object, move over to the metable options and I'll bring the view resolution down. Let's set it down so we can clearly see what we're getting. Alright, looking good. So you can see what we're having here. We have the metable objects used as particles in the box emitter and they create this very interesting result. Alright, now moving back to the cube and the particle system. What you can easily do here is change the seed, set it to 1, 2 and all that and you can change it until you find something that looks interesting. I think it looks pretty nice at about here, ok. Now moving, selecting actually the metaball again and I'll move over to object and convert to, you can also hit alt c for this one and let's convert it to mesh from curve meta surf text, ok. Now I'm selecting the cube and I'm going to hit the right mouse button and delete it, we don't need it anymore. And we have a metable object and now if I hit the tab key you can see that it's a mesh object. Alright. Now we have a mesh object, we can use the modifiers and as you can see that now that we're having a mesh object we can use any modifier we want on it. What I'm going to use is a simple remesh modifier and again I'm trying to build a simple scene so you can see this technique here and I've put together an image on my blog on graphicsdaily.blogspot.com I'm going to change the remesh mode to blocks and increase the octree depth, let's set it up to 6 ok and also ok uncheck the remove disconnected pieces ok I'm going to find a nice little angle and I think I'm good at about here and hit Ctrl Alt and 0 on my keyboard to roughly position my camera to see the object. Now I'll change from Blender Render to Cyclos Render, we have the metable object thingy here selected. I'm going to click New for a new material. I'm going to set this one to, let's set it to Mix Shader. The first shader will be a Diffuse Shader. OK, and the second shader will be a glossy shader. I'll change the diffuse color, let's say it to be a strong blue color at about here. And I'll also change the glossy shader, let's set it at about here. Alright, I'll also change the viewport color, click on the viewport color here and click the color picker and then on the diffuse color. Alright, now I'll move over to the world options. Click this little blue sphere for the world options. I'm going to click use nodes and let's bring this one up to be white. And again, I'm putting together a quick scene so you can see the technique in action. I'll also increase the render, let's set it to 60% and the actual resolution is at full HD. 
I've switched the device to GPU compute and I'm going to hit render to take a look. Okay, and now you can see the scene now put together and rendered in cycles. What you can also do here is add freestyle and all that. And as I said before, now that we're having a mesh object, you can actually use any modifier you want. You can add displays, you can add simple deform and all that, and you can create your own scenes. And as I always used to say, feel free to experiment with the techniques I'm putting together for you guys on these Blender B tutorials. So this is it, this looks pretty interesting. This is Dimitris Christou and let's see, looking nice and thanks for watching.